Okay, cool. So then this is, you can always, yeah, you can change that logo later and then always get, you got to always hit save at the top. So click on that, save the green button and let's go save and next. And then over here, free, you can go ahead and leave it free. That's fine. And then um, those are the fields that you're asking for a first name, email and phone with country code. And so um, that's fine. And then hit save. Okay, and then time zone, um, let users select their respective, their respective time zones. That's fine. So let's hit save and next on that. And then it's the schedule. We got to go back to the schedule. So let's go back, hit the back, go to the very, very bottom and hit back. Yeah, let's hit back and let's go back to schedule back one more time. So right here. So hit change right here. Okay, so this is all this up to date. So this, these times, these days, um, and I don't think they are, or are they? Yeah. Like, are, start time, you know, start okay, time. perfect. Okay, cool. So you got this part down. Okay, cool. No, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, perfect. Nine, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday, and no, not. Um, yeah, eight, 8 a.m. Okay, and then you got it to December 31st. Okay, cool. So make sure you hit add right there at the top, add. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's scroll down. Let's make sure everything is, is good at the bottom. Let's no, scroll. This should not say, like, I can't, like, do I, what about Saturday? No, I'll, yeah. just, I'll just leave it because people are off on Saturday. Yeah, okay. So scroll to the very bottom and let's see what else is down here. So you got those no minimum book booking notice or you have no booking restrictions. So as long as that's fine. Um, and then you can always block out a specific date. What do you do? Three days or a week? I do. I don't do anything right here. So I put no booking restrictions because what I do is I just set up the dates to the right. So right here, I go no booking restrictions. Yeah. And then to the right, I go from De I go to De December 1st to let's just say the 25th. But that's me. Like I, I'm the type of person where I want, I don't want to book up my appointments too far because I know you'll forget. You know what I mean? Like I'm that type of person where it's like, I'm going for appointments the next day to tell you the truth. Right. But sometimes in your case, you know, with real estate, you may have someone that books an appointment next month, you know, I, I mean, but in my case, I would put it December 1st to the 20th, for example. But in your case, you could just go 31st if you want. And, and then, and then what I would do is I would uncheck January, February, March, I would uncheck everything else. Cause I don't want someone coming to my calendar and booking a call and freaking for May 20th of 2021. Right. You know what I mean? So I do it there rather than doing it below in the booking um, range. So, yeah, so I'll just uncheck all of that. And then um, because otherwise it'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So perfect. I'll leave it like that. Like, or maybe even go to the 31st. It's up to you, but um, you can always play with it. And I just, I, I, I spread mine out seven days and I just make it a habit to come back in here every seven days to, to extend it, you know, no big deal. So that's that. And then go to the very, very top and hit save, hit the green one, save. And then we should be good right here. Perfect. Okay. So now save and next. And then save it next. And this success, this right here is when, when um, 
And you see this when you book it on my calendar, like you go, you choose your time day and then you, and then you confirm it. And then it shows you a, a, a congratulations type of thing. So this is just like a simple message. Um, just like, you know, what to expect next, like a confirmation. Um, that's all this is. So you can write something there and it'll show up. And if you scroll down, it'll show you as you're typing, it'll show you it as it looks like in real time. So that's it right there. So you can write whatever you want at the top and they'll just see that as, as a confirmation. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, cool. So here, is this where I would put a link to the Zoom? No. What we're going to do is we're going to put the link for Zoom. Is that how you do your call, Zoom? Uh, yeah, I would do it. I would want to do a Zoom call with them. Okay. I'm glad you, I'm glad you, you said that because what I would do in that case is I wouldn't ask for their phone number in the form. Okay. Right. I would only ask for name and email, which is what I do when you go and book a count uh, appointment on my calendar. I'm, I'm only asking yeah. for name and email. So if, if this is like, otherwise they can just call me on my phone, right? Yeah, I mean, if you're doing phone, then then yeah, then the phone number would be important. And that's that's what we'll want to describe right here. So if we are doing Zoom, I would just simply write something like that. You know, check your inbox. I just emailed you the link to our Zoom call. So make sure you check for that. I would just put some simple instructions right here, you know, check. Because what I'm really trying to tell them is, is, is what's in the email. So I want them to get to my email. So I'm going to tell them here to check their email. I might even tell them to check their spam. Sometimes it lands in spam. So make sure you check your spam folder and the title of the email will be our call is confirmed or something like that, you know? So here more instructions than, than anything else. Um, Yeah, you can always update it and then um, or you can center it like you can make it look however you want. Um, and then and then um, you can also I mean, if you have do you have a website? Do you have a random broker website or whatever? I do have my um, it's it's called John Genevieve Jones Properties, but it's tied to my John L. Scott website. OK, well, if anything, right now might be a good time to send them there. It's up to you. But yeah. you, you can always link them right here. So scroll down. And then if we go to, um, we click on that, um, that, well, I don't know why it's not. Actually, yeah, hover over the button to the very, very right. Let's see if we can toggle that to blue. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Now that'll open it up. Okay, so yeah, so it'll be an external URL. Remember, anytime we're taking them off of Kartra, it's an external URL. So yeah, so we can, we can have them click that. And then in the, in the button text, you know, I might <clears throat> change click here and put something different, put maybe click here to see a, a, a list of our properties or click here to get more information or click here to whatever, click here to get more info, information. Perfect. Yeah, that could be, that could be something cool right there. So um, scroll down. Let's see what it looks like. Scroll down. Yeah, see, so there's that button. Click here to get more information or click here to take a look at my website or whatever. Click here to get more information is fine. 
And yeah, so when they click on that, then they go to your site. Yeah, so all that stuff you can easily change. You know, nothing's carved in stone, so you can always update this later. Um, but click on save right there, the green one. And that's the success confirmation. And then save and next. And then it's right here in the reminders. So this is where I put my Zoom link. So if you notice on the emails that I send you, when you book a call, you'll get my booking confirmation right away. And then you'll get an email reminder an hour before our call. So in my emails, I have my link hyperlinked to the words, click here at scheduled time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all I did is I simply clicked on change right there in the booking confirmation, clicked on, on, click on change. And then I can come in here and edit the email. So click on the pencil. And then um, this email right here is what you'll want to edit. So there's my layout currently. Um, you can change the title at the top, strategy call confirmed. Um, and you can also, I use the dynamic variables a lot. Like if you can see the parentheses, like if you, like, for example, the emails that I send you, it always has your name. It's always addressed to Genevieve, right? Because I use the dynamic variable, which is to the left. If you click on dynamic variables, you'll be able to copy the first name. So copy the parentheses, that's the dynamic variable. So wherever the first name, wherever you put that dynamic variable, the name of the lead will pull. So... I use the dynamic variable. I use their first name in all my emails. I try to call them by their first name all the time. People like hearing their first name. So I'll put that, you know, everywhere, the dynamic variable. Um, now, when it comes to the dynamic variables above, you have event, hosted by, scheduled time. Those are also dynamic variables. And those dynamic variables you can see in parentheses calendar underscore class underscore name and then the hosted by calendar or calendar underscore coach like those are all dynamic variables and those ones are at the top okay. okay so all i did is i also i um hyperlinked that click here at schedule time. So if you just, if you just um, highlight it, you can just hit the link and then you could put your, your Zoom link in there. So if you hit that link at the top, that one right there, that's my Zoom link in there. And all you do is just delete that one and put your Zoom link. Do you know where your Zoom link is at? I don't, so okay. let let's go. Let's go to zoom.us and then I'll, I'll show you where it's at. Okay, so let's log in here real quick. Hello? I'm still here. Okay, so click on show right there by personal meeting ID. You see your link right there. Click on show and it will show you your full link. The HTTPS like down, down, show right there. So that's your long Zoom link. So I just copy that and I put that in there. Do I need a password? Um, well, yeah, we're, let's, 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 um, let's, let's definitely set up our password. Okay, how do I do it? Let's, um, go to, let's see, go to, no, it's actually right there to the left, settings. Yeah, go back to Zoom and then just click on. Um, oh, on Zoom. Yeah, on Zoom. Click on settings to the left, and then you're gonna come down to. 
if you just scroll down, you'll see the ability to change the password or to even create one. But right there, right there. So it's those two. It's the meeting passwords and it's the and it's the personal meeting ID password. So go ahead and click on that one and then click on the one below it as well. So go ahead and click on that and just rename it. Name it something, something, you know, catchy. It's it has to be a short one though. So maybe, you know. Strategy or how about um um well you got Genevieve Jones properties so GJP GJP I don't know something like that G that could be a good one and then hit save but you can always change it too so and then do the do it for the next one down edit and then let's change this one too okay now click on profile to the top left let's click on profile and now we should see that over here. So if we click on, um, if we click on, yeah, normally it would be right there below your link, but it's not showing right there, but that's fine. But what I do is I'll put my, uh, just put that in the email anyways, but then also click on show right next to the 884. That's your meeting ID. So you want to include that in the email as well. So that's the meeting ID, 867-559. That's your meeting ID. And then just put the password just, just in case. So yeah, so that's your meeting ID. And then your password, perfect. Perfect. And then, and then obviously just rewrite anything, change out the image, and then, and, then, and then change out those social media icons. That's what you want to do as well. And so once I, once I actually or once you finalize it, right, your image, your social media icons, your text, your everything, then you save as a template. And then you can just use that same template over and over and over. That's another part of branding. So as you start to, these are emails that are going to go out when people schedule an appointment. But what about emails that go out when you're just sending emails? What I, what I do, I'm just big on details. Like I'm big on the details. Like it, people notice the details, right? So I'm big on it when it comes to landing pages, make sure that you have the same color throughout the entire funnel. Opt-in page, thank you page, schedule, schedule. That's why there's the same image on all three of them. If you notice, schedule call confirm page, the opt-in page, the thank you page, it's the same image throughout. It's the same, it's the same yellow button throughout. Same with emails, same with email templates, I should say. Use the same template, that's what I would do. I mean, it's up to you. It's all preference, but I would use the same template and I do use the same template throughout all my emails. It's that same template. It's the image and then my social media icons at the bottom. Nothing, nothing fancy, just not something stupid and simple, but it's the same consistency, right? Just in that simple branding. So I would deck it all out if I were you first and then you save as a template and then just use the same one over and over. Hopefully I didn't need everything either. What's that? I, I didn't lose everything either. I, you're cutting out. I couldn't hear you. Oh, I said, um, hopefully I didn't lose what I did. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Hold on. Let me go back. How do I get back? Click on, just click on save and next. Save and next, and we want to get to the reminder tab. Let's see if it's... <laughs> Yeah, we lost it. I don't know what happened there. Yes. 
Maybe? Yeah, you're cutting. You're cutting out. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. you, am I doing this right? Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah, you could do WWW. Okay, so that's right What's that? Is this link? Can I? Can I do that for me? Yeah. I mean, I can I can easily do it for you, um, because really, it's this part. It's it's the it's the it's the booking confirmation, and then it's the email reminder. Yeah. That just needs to be updated, and then it's and then it's setting up the sequence for when people download the seller guide. Okay. So there's quite a there's quite a bit of of work to do on this part. But again, I just look at it as it's as, as something you can easily do or I can do it for you, but it's a one-time thing. Once we set it up, then it's freaking game time. Then we just run a shitload of ads and we capture leads. That's just all there is to it. So that's, that's what I want. That's what I want to do. <laughs> you just want to fast forward to get to the lead part, huh? If I could, that would be fantastic. Um, okay. So, okay. So, um, so then we do this. And then I can do this later, I guess, or if I get really frustrated, I'll just ask you to do it. All that is included, right? It's not going to be more money for you to do it, is it? Well, the cartridge site, if I need to do anything, all I, I mean, it's just time consuming. I can, what I do is I teach you for free how to do it all yourself. But okay. if you need, if you need me to do it, like normally I end up charging something just because if I have to go and do it, like. But I'd rather teach you how to do it yourself, but sometimes the patience may not be there, you know what I mean? Or the or the time. Right. So normally I end up charging just like a hundred an hour. I'll knock it out like in a in, in an hour. Like um it's just time consuming. It'll take me because there's a, what needs to be done to this is the booking, which is this one, the booking email, the okay. email reminder, the email sequences that follow after someone downloads the seller guide. And then just making sure that the that the pages are all ready to go on the on the seller guide funnel. Okay. So really, the time consuming part is going to be putting those email sequences together, tying all that part up, and then and then and then that's it. The, it's really it's really that that's that's really the time consuming part is is writing a few emails, and then and then making sure that your pixel is on all these pages, which I'm pretty sure your pixels on the pages, right? We we installed the pixel on the page. Oh, I don't know if they're on all the pages. Can we check? Like yeah, for sure. I'm gonna, so I guess I'm gonna leave it here because like, so this needs to be like linked to my Zoom, right? Yeah, so the, the, the blue one, yeah, click here. That's where your Zoom link goes. But how do I, how do I edit that? Okay. Just click on the, um, yeah, click on that link and you can just delete the link that's in there currently. And that's where your Zoom link goes. My 
right? Yes. And then your meeting ID, and then and um. That, so that's there, and then you did me with my password. Yeah. And then um. And then may, maybe rewording the um, webcam is disabled. Um, link um, those ones yeah. and then just delete the other one. How to um, you could just hit the X or to link them. Yeah. To yeah, just hit the pencil. Here or yeah, up here? yeah. No, the pink one, the pink one. Yeah, that one. And then just your link oh. goes right there. 